Hey everybody, Mark here, Backcountry Pipe. Uh, on vacation this week, hunting season. Um, so I came home and decided I'd have a bowl. And I had the LLB pipe fired up with some uh, Stokel Bees uh, Luxury Navy Flake. Uh, part of the vapor sample sent to me by uh, Shard Briar Ken. Pretty good, I must say. And uh, I home today, I received a package in the mail. Um, and when I opened it, I was just blown away. Um, you know, it goes to the generosity, like I've said many times, of the, the YouTube pipe community and everything. And uh, this is a fairly new presenter to YouTube. Um, been on YouTube for a while, though. Hasn't made any videos, fellow Canuck. And, uh, a big, big shout out to uh, Justin, who goes by the name of Smoke and Scotch. If you can uh, check out his channel, he's just new, but he's very knowledgeable in cigars. He enjoys the pipe, and uh, we've uh, had a couple PMs so far. And uh, if you want to send me a uh, cigar to uh, celebrate, uh, you know, the uh, the baby or the, the start of our family, so I accepted. When I opened this box, there was a very nice letter. And I'll just read a paragraph out of this because, um, you know, it's pretty cool how the thought went into this. Um, <laughs> I've sent you a cigar that I felt was a perfect pairing to your recent news of a family. You may already know this, but I figured I'd send you this anyways. You also may have had a cigar, had the cigar, but I'm not sure. This Cuban represents what a family can accomplish. Alejandro Robania was one of the most respected tobacco growers in Cuba. He started smoking cigars around 10 years of age and lived to be 91. Figure that one out, health freaks. He also, also <coughs> he died in 2009 and handed down the reins to his grandson, Hiroshi, like family should. Hiroshi has taken over and continues the tobacco and cigar business for his family. Some of the world's best tobaccos come from his farm. I am well aware of the, uh, the Robania family story. Um, There's a beautiful write-up about it in uh, Cigar Affectionado, I believe it was earlier this year. Growing in popularity, um, but still not, uh, you know, as big as some of the others. But, uh, <laughs> He sent me a Vegas Robania cigar. I've only tried one of these before in the past, and I'm very excited to try this. So, uh, Justin, thank you very much. The size of this one is a uni Unicos. I'm super excited to try this. Um, I just gotta make my mind if I'm going to wait until the little member comes or if I'm going to enjoy it with the thought of the little one coming. It might be hard to wait. But that is not all he sent. And I'm blown away because in actual fact, I, uh, I want to try these other cigars he sent for some time. Um, they go on my list. He sent me an Ashton VSG. Olive Series B and the Padron 1964 Anniversary Series. And I've heard these things are just like eating a chocolate bar. They're just so awesome. It smells incredible. And that's not all. I mean, that's that's just that's crazy right there. Also, I got some samples. I got. Uh, Some uh, Boswell's chocolate cream. Peterson holiday season. Uh, Samuel Gallif golden glow. Solani Virginia with Perique, so another vapor. Uh, Robert uh, McConnell Scottish cake. Uh, Stokelby's luxury bullseye flake. Uh, I guess it's a vapor with a Cavendish core. Um, Nolan's Downtown Special, 
whiskey and vanilla. I'm sure, that would be great. And uh, Solani Age Burley Flake. So, I mean, I'm just blown away, speechless over the cigars. Um, and to send cigars with thought and meaning behind it, uh, you know, uh, just an incredible community we have here, an incredible, just goes to show what kind of an incredible person Justin is. I'm not just saying that because he, you know, he sent me cigars, but uh, I'm just blown away. So check out his channel, uh, Smoke and Scotch, fellow Canuck up in Ontario. And uh, I can guarantee you, Justin, that uh, everything here will be enjoyed very much. The cigars will be enjoyed greatly. Um, and thank you doesn't seem like enough, but thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to put those cigars in the humidor once I finish this video. I'm going to put those samples in, uh, in a jar and uh, they, they're going to be enjoyed immensely. I just, I don't know, I, it's just so funny that I've wanted to try those cigars so long and then they, they magically appear, I guess, the Brotherhood, the Briar, you know, the cigars, that, uh, I've said it many a times, you know, it's not, uh, it's not just a habit, like smoking cigarettes. You don't get this. People are sending people different kinds of cigarettes in the mail just to try. I mean, this is this is amazing. No, I'm so humbled by uh, this and from the other people that I've exchanged packages with, received packages from. Um, there's a lot of good people out there in the world. So very grateful. So thank you, Justin. Going to be appreciated and going to be enjoyed. So, with that, I uh, will leave it there. I hope everyone's doing good. And unfortunately, Bella has no cigars. Hey, Bella, she just chews up sticks on the floor. <laughs>